Hello darlings, this is Sewing Julie and welcome to my channel where we talk everything sewing. So today you see Zinger heavy duty machines in front of me and I will be reviewing these machines. So whenever I post on Instagram either one of these machines I get so many questions so I decided to do a full review and tell you everything that I think about these machines that I've been using for seven plus years. Before we move on, I want to tell you that this video is not sponsored. I do not work with the Zinger brand. These are my personal machines that I bought with my own money seven or six years ago. Throughout the video, I will show you a few items that I use along these machines and I find them very helpful. And I will link those products down in the description box. These will be affiliate links, meaning that if you click the link and buy the item within 24 hours, I get a small percentage at no additional cost to you but it does help support the channel if you like seeing reviews on this channel about sewing products sewing tools sewing books whatever please hit the like button so that i will know that you enjoy these videos and would like to see more so now let's get started so in this review I will tell you my experience working with both of these machines and I will also answer the questions that you submitted in Instagram. So the first Zinger heavy duty machine that I bought was this model that you see here and it's Zinger heavy duty 4423 machine which is one of the most popular machines from their lineup even if not the most popular one and it's the number one bestseller on Amazon. I got this machine seven years ago and for the first three years it was my main sewing machine and I made everything on it. Later I enrolled to sewing school and at sewing school we used industrial sewing machines where I fell in love with that industrial power and I upgraded to this machine right here. However I also kept my Zinger heavy duty 4423 machine because my industrial is straight stitch only so whenever I need to do a buttonhole so with twin needle or if I want to play with some accessories I use this machine. So the machine is rather simple it has 11 stitches and 11 elastic stitches so for those who don't know what elastic stitch is the standard straight stitch goes one stitch then moves to another stitch then to another stitch and thus creating the seam however with the elastic stitch you have a stitch that is repeated three times until it moves to another stitch this creates an elastic seam that you can pull and it will not break. So having elastic stitch option is very useful especially if you like to sew with knits or items that has elastane in it. This machine also has a one-step buttonhole which I really like because it makes sewing buttonholes trouble free. Everything in this machine is adjustable with the dials. You can adjust the tensile needle position with and select the programs using the dials. The machine price ranges from 200 to $250 and with this price you also get several accessories. The variety of accessories depends on the kit that you're buying. However, Zinger always adds plenty of sewing machine feet and the essential feet, which I consider the standard foot, the invisible zipper foot, the side zipper foot and the buttonhole foot are always included in the set. Additionally, Zinger has a very wide assortment of extra feet that you can can buy plus this machine is compatible with non-branded accessories and for example I bought on Amazon this presser feet kit that has 32 feet and I paid like $20 for this set. I will link it down below if you want to check it out and it's a great variety of different feet for a very very good price because the price for one foot is less than a dollar right? Of course you won't be using all of these foots in this set however I do like the shearing foot, I do like the hemming foot and I adore pin tucking foot. I use these feet whenever I do Instagram reels so if you want to check out what you can do with these feet you will have to see my Instagram. The machine is controlled very easily with a foot controller. The foot controller looks like this and it looks identical for this machine and this machine. Now moving on to the serger. So the serger, this particular model, I think it's discontinued but I saw that the Zinger heavy duty line has very similar sergers that just are different in colors. 
This serger is a four thread serger. So people often ask me what is the difference between three and four thread serger and which one to use. And I always recommend to choose four thread serger if you have a possibility to do so. Now you see the three thread serger is meant to neaten the raw edges of the fabric while the four thread serger can be used to sew knit fabrics and create elastic seams. For example, this particular dress was created solely using this machine without any need to include either of the machines that I have right here. So great to have that option and I really really love it whenever you have the possibility choose the four thread overlock. They're a bit more pricey but always worth the investment. This machine is very basic and it's threaded manually. You can adjust the tension by rotating these dials and you can sew with either four or three threads. It also comes with the waist bin that you can attach right here and whenever the fabric is cut it falls right into that bin. I've been using this machine for six years and it's my first and only serger. I bought it the very first week that I started going to sewing school because I tried the serger for the first time in my life fell in love, I noticed what a significant improvement it adds to the garment sewing and I instantly decided to go for it and since I already had the heavy duty machine I decided to choose heavy duty serger as well. Within those six years of owning this particular machine I never had any problems with it and anytime I had some issue with it it was my own fault and always always with the threading because when it comes to manually threading the machine it can be tricky and I would say that 99% of the serger problems can be fixed by fixing the threading. The only downside that I have for this particular machine is that it is loud. It is loud and I sometimes avoid using it late in the evening or at night because I don't want to wake the neighbors or my baby. So yeah, this is a very big downside for me and I I'm thinking about buying a new serger but since this one works well I have a hard time just going in and buying a new machine because this one works and it it's just mildly inconvenient that it's loud. Overall, it's a good machine. It performs its task well and I never had any problems with it within the six years that I had it. So now I will answer the questions that you submitted on Instagram. First question is how much does it cost and is it worth the price? This is a very simple question to which I will give a very long and complicated answer but it will help you navigating the sewing machine market hopefully not only with these machines but when choosing the next sewing machine in general. So the way I see the domestic sewing machine market it's divided in four major groups. So the first group is the entry-level machines that cost from $80 to $150. These machines are very basic. They usually have a few simple stitches. If it has a buttonhole stitch, it usually has a four-step buttonhole. It's always mechanical and you can adjust everything with the dials. It's very simple machines and they are not meant for long sewing sessions. They're good machines but they are targeted towards either beginner as their first sewing machine or for those who use machines rarely maybe a few times a year you want to fix your clothing and those machines are perfect for you. So the next segment of the machines are the mid-price machines. The prices of these machines range from $150 to $400. These machines are a bit more advanced than the entry-level machines. They have more functions. They usually have elastic stitch. They always have the buttonhole that is from one step usually and they're good reliable machines. They are already meant for you to sew for a long time and whenever you buy that machine you will get a lot of use in many many years to come. This is also the segment where the most sales happen quantity wise. Next segment is the higher priced machines that ranges from 400 to let's say $800. These machines are a bit more 
more advanced, they have more stitch options, they already have a few little extra details and a few little extra functions like for example maybe they have an automatic thread cutting, maybe they have a knee lift, something like that. Sometimes they are computerized meaning they might have a small LCD screen and instead of the dials you usually get the buttons. Not always but sometimes. And then the next segment of sewing machines are ranging from $800 to sky is the limit. So these are premium machines that have plenty of stitch options, usually two, four hundred uh, different stitches. They have several button options. They have like better controllers. If it's computerized machine, probably it will have a big LCD screen. Maybe it will have an embroidery function. So these premium machines are created to give you premium feel when you're sewing. And these machines are top of the line machines where the manufacturer really puts everything he has best into creating that machine and it's usually the machine that is most advertised. So to answer your question, is the Zinger Heavy Duty 4423 is worth the price that is around $200-$250? You really have to tune your expectations. You are buying a machine that is that sweet mid price range. You're not buying an entry-level machine but you're not also buying a high or premium quality machine and you're not buying the industrial machine, right? So you should not expect miracles. You are buying a $200 machine that is mid-price and you are getting the value that you pay for. Personally, when I bought this machine heavy duty, it makes such a big promise heavy duty and uh, later when I switched to the industrial sewing machine, I was a bit disappointed with this one, right? But that's because my expectations were set too high and I was unrealistic. I was buying a $250 machine and this is what they got, but my expectations were just too high and unrealistic. Now that I have more experience both in sewing and in life, I do understand that I was buying a mid-price machine and I got the value of every single dollar that I spent, not more, not less and it's really a good reliable machine and in my opinion if you have your expectations tuned in it's definitely worth the price. So okay next question does Zinger Heavy Duty have a twin needle? Of course we are speaking about the sewing machine because the serger has two separate needles. So to answer yes the Zinger Heavy Duty 4423 does sew with the twin needle. I can share my own experience with sewing with twin needle. I used to have quite a lot of problems with it and whenever I would start sewing I would have the tangled threads and I would not be able to either sew a very long seam or to sew very fast because of that thread tangling. And I honestly thought that the problem was in the machine. However, when I switched to the different twin needle, I'm currently using organ needles twin needle, all the problems disappeared and I can sew at a very high speed and through bulk seams without any issues. So if you're having issues with twin needle, I do recommend changing the twin needle brand that you're using. I, I personally use organ needles and I'm very satisfied with it. So, you know, this is my recommendation of what I use. Okay, so next question, newbies and tips. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the number one tip, when you're buying any kind of sewing machine, read the manual. Yes, read the manual and especially I have to give credit to Zinger because they have really detailed manuals. For example, I've posted several times on my Instagram how I quickly changed threads to my serger and I will put this reel over here. And many people said, wow, this is such a cool technique and this is such a cool hack, but this is not the hack. This is literally what's written in the manual of this serger. If you buy a new machine, always spend some time reading the manual because you will learn more about your sewing machine and you will be able to use it to the maximum possibilities. Okay, so next question. I heard internals are actually heavy duty. Does it live up to its name? So the thing is, I think that the motor and internals are said to be like 50-60% stronger in this machine compared to standard domestic machine. Truthfully, I haven't felt this one, this difference, and if 
if you're asking compared to my industrial sewing machine it's completely different level right and you cannot even compare these heavy dutiness of industrial to this domestic machine and I have used more expensive machines in my life domestic sewing machines personally I don't feel the difference a few years ago I saw a similar comment on Zinger Instagram account somebody said that these aren't actually heavy duty and the account answered if I remember correctly they said that this machine was created towards the cosplayer market which is a very big market right and cosplayers usually work with variety of different materials not only fabrics but these so foam and similar items right so this is what they're gearing to and that improved um, strength and motor is aimed towards that kind of sewing so to answer your question I personally haven't felt a big difference compared to other domestic sewing machines but if you're a cosplayer probably yeah you should feel something if you're sewing different kind of materials so next question is the zinger heavy duty machine is similar speedness to other brand machines the standard domestic sewing machine speed is around 800 stitches per minute and this one is 1100 stitches per minute so yes it is faster but only a bit you're never sewing at full speed so you won't actually feel that much of a difference i can tell you the example right so the industrial straight stitch machines are sewing like from 3500 to 5000 stitches per minute now that compared to the standard sewing machine 800 stitches per minute that is a huge 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 difference you definitely feel it and this is why i don't recommend industrial for the beginners because once you push even lightly the pedal the machine just runs off and it is really difficult to manage right for the beginners so that speed difference is very noticeable you can feel it but this compared to other domestic sewing machines in technical specifications it is faster I personally don't feel like much because I'm never sewing at full speed okay so next comment is I've heard these are noisy for the sewing machine right here wouldn't say it's noisy uh, maybe if you're sewing at high speed it does vibrate a little bit and does create a sound but not really significantly for the serger yes it is very loud and it's one of the reasons why I want to change it and buy a new machine but other than that it's a good machine so yeah it is noisy this one this one not so much okay so next question is it possible to remove left side to sew sleeves yes the answer is yes for both machines so for this one you can move it like this and you actually have a little drawer here so on the sewing machine it's not that particularly important to have that removable side it's nice to have but for example my industrial does not have the removable arm and it's okay I can sew it like that one thing that I really like that it has this little drawer right here so I can keep all the essential items for that machine for example like extra feet or like extra needles I store everything here so some people also keep bobbins spare bobbins right here but I don't do that for a few years now because I have this bobbin organizer which has been a tremendous tremendous help in organizing my bobbins and I have everything neatly stored and I can see every color that I have I never lose my bobbins and it's you know very neat and clean way to store the bobbins and this will be one of those items that I will link in the description box because I use it love it and I cannot recommend this enough because it's really really game changer it's not that expensive but it does create a lot of neatness and tidiness and uh, for the serger yes it is very convenient if it has a removable arm it has a removable arm so it's very convenient whenever you are sewing like small circular seams cuff collar or sleeves very convenient to remove this free arm and just sew much closer and faster and better however I do not like the drawer which is like open drawer right here because all the loose items keep falling whenever I try to use the drawer okay and the last question that I will answer today is do they have a lot of patterns I think you're meant seams right so this one as I mentioned has 11 uh, standard stitches 11 uh, elastic stitches and one step 
buttonhole and this one has the standard serger seams meaning you can either sew thread serger seam three thread serger seam and I think you can do rolled hem with this one as well so this is my review for the zinger heavy duty machines that I have at home and for the closing closing sentence I want to say this at the end of the day it doesn't matter what sewing machine you're using a cheap one an expensive one a premium one or an entry level one everything depends on you and how you will use it you are in charge of the quality of your sewing garment not the machine so a fancy sewing machine will not make you sew better it will improve the process it will make it faster smoother more effective but you are in charge of developing your own skill mastering your own skill and it does not depend on the machine that you're using so whatever your machine you have enjoy it and so the more you sew the better you are getting thank you for watching today's video if you have any questions leave them in the comment section and also let me know if you would like me to review any other sewing tool book or whatever thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye